Hey guys, so quick update. So as you guys know, I did the two videos about um, the dating. So obviously in the second video, I spoke about um, a guy that, that really did have feelings for for years, but obviously I haven't addressed my feelings um, and I didn't know how he felt in all of that. Um, he ended up seeing the first video, not the second one. He ended up seeing the first video and um he got up there and um he sent me a very disrespectful voice note um he was upset because um obviously this is given the fact that he hasn't seen the second video so um he got upset because unfortunately he said um where's my loyalty to nigeria and i didn't mention i didn't mention nigeria and how I didn't even mention um, about me and him and times um, we've been together and stuff like that. Um, obviously, he's never been in a serious relationship. With him. It's never gotten to that point, as I said in another video. But it was it was funny. Um, I found it to be very funny when I am um, listening to the voice note because he was literally getting so worked up and so angry, and then. He made a statement that pissed me off and he goes, I'm an alpha male. How can you um show me this video and not think I'll feel a certain type of way? So, um how he even came across the video, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed I've changed my um YouTube logo. So I've got like someone's like professional do it and then the introduction as well. So what I happened was is I sent the logo to all my friends, just like a general opinion of what you guys think is gonna be my new logo. And I sent it to him and I was just like, oh, um, what do you think about the logo? And he's um, asking what the, what am I using the logo for? And I said to him, oh, I've got a YouTube channel. He's like, oh, you've got a YouTube channel. And then I screenshot like the front page of my YouTube channel. And I said, yeah, I do different types of videos. Um, and I've got 33 videos on there. That's, that's what I had at the time. Obviously, i got more now. And he said, oh, um, I'll check it out. But... I've had a lot of people say they'll check out my YouTube videos and they don't they don't check it out so I didn't actually think he was gonna look at it. But he did and then he came across the video about the dating. Um obviously it's a part one. Okay. He came across the part one and he was just like He came across the part one and he was just like um yeah, uh, where's my loyalty to Nigeria? I didn't mention Nigeria, but as I said to him, um, there, was, there was a part two, but I didn't tell anyone in the part one that there is going to be a part two because I wanted it to be like a surprise kind of thing, so I didn't say anything about it. And then um, I did show him a few clips of the part two so you can see that I didn't just mention him, I was actually, I talked more about him in the second video than anything else. Um, anyways, he was getting in his feelings. And he was so upset and riled up and i just i couldn't understand why i mean we just never been in anything like serious so I don't see why you should get upset over something like that but anyway he did he got very upset and i was trying to explain to him that the videos i do on youtube i don't want anyone getting offended over my videos I'm just speaking of my experiences and things that I went through and my observations kind of thing. It's not like a proven fact or anything like that, even though some people can relate to some of the things I say because they probably had the same experience as me. But it's not an actual proven scientific fact, if that makes sense. So, <clears throat> long story short, he got upset because he got in his feelings and... Obviously, I finally, for the first time, actually said how I felt about him. Obviously, as you can tell in the second video, I wasn't able to, for years, express how I really felt about him. So, in this stage, I started to tell him exactly how I feel. And um, <clears throat> with the way we met, I had a lot of things going on in my life, as I said. And because he never really express that he wanted anything further i just continued with other people now in 
the rage of everything he ended up saying to me and this is the most i think this is one of the most disrespectful nigerians i've come i've come across um he will definitely go down as one of the disrespectful nigerians i've ever come across as much as i talked nice about him and things in the second video he's going down as one of the most disrespectful nigerians i've been across so this is what this guy said to me and ladies listen up because men are just rude so first of all he said to me obviously i told you guys a background story of how i met him um when i met him i didn't know that i was already pregnant i found out weeks later and obviously i'm not gonna go and get rid of my kids for just to be in a relationship with a guy that i don't even know whether or not it was gonna go anywhere or not it's not my fault i didn't know i was already pregnant when i started seeing him but i did tell him the truth now he said from the minute that i told him i was pregnant when i first met him he already had written me off from there he never thought anything was going to be serious with me and him. he never wanted anything serious with me from there now this is the part where i think men are just so deceitful now he said he didn't want nothing serious with me listen to this yeah but throughout my pregnancy he was around me i slept over his house he was sleeping with me he was treating me the same way he was treating me before like i'm his girlfriend but i'm not his girlfriend and i was pregnant all the way till i was like well a good six seven months pregnant right but you don't ever see a future with me okay cool you didn't you know want to be with me all right cool then he also says um how i left i moved on i moved to wolverhampton next thing you know i got pregnant again and then i went and get married and all of that and to me it sounds like a guy that's very bitter and upset if you knew from the minute i told you i was pregnant that you wouldn't ever want something with me in the future then what's all this conversation about oh i left um i left london moved to overhampton i got married i moved on would you have cared about that first of all in fact he's not hearing himself when he speaks he really sounds stupid then he goes oh how why would he want something in the future with me i've got three kids i've got kids and even when i met him i was pregnant and to be honest by the time he finished explaining how the fact that i got kids made him feel like he ain't never gonna have nothing serious with me to be honest the way he interprets it basically he's calling me damaged goods so the fact that i'm a mom he don't see himself being with me because i am a parent first of all and i went and get married as well means that i'm basically damaged goods and by the time i went through the rest of the voice i was so pissed off because in conclusion basically he's saying why would a guy want to be with someone like me for all the things that i've done went and get how many kids and things like that so he never really saw a future with me he even went to a point where he said i'm i'm delusional thinking that he would ever want anything serious with me now the stupidity of people is what really pissed me off now i've known this guy for years if you see me and this guy out together let's say for example we're going to the cinema the way it comes across the body language between me and him you think i'm his girlfriend you think that this guy proper cares about me i'm talking about holding my hand i'm talking about holding me by the way i mean i've gone to this guy's house I've cooked for him. He's made me food before. We've gone um the supermarket together to get the ingredients so I can cook for him. Um I've spent weekends at his house. Um I've expressed a bit of my feelings to him. Um he's told me before about how much he cares about me and all of that and he feels this way about me and he feels that way about me. But from the voice note, he said, um, the only thing we can ever have is something casual. 
it will never be something serious and we will never he don't ever see a future with me and i'm delusional i'm not delusional i mean when you're sending mixed messages it's mad and this is why i normally say men communication levels are at zero because if you really just communicate with me and sit me down and be like you know what babe i don't want to hurt your feelings but because of the circumstances i don't see anything going further with me and you but because i do like the person you are and stuff like that i do want to see you but casually see now during my dating life when i uh, when i first start talking to a guy the first thing i ask is what are your intentions like what is it that you're looking for what you want now if a guy says to me like he just wants something casual then that's how i'm going to take it if a guy says to me well i want to get to know you and see where it goes that's why i take it now the difference between those two yeah is i'm a different person with each of them so if a guy says to me he wants something casual i take my emotions and i put it in a box so which means everything that i do when i'm dealing with you is with no emotions or it's like i don't have a heart i don't care about your feelings I don't care about your emotions. I don't care about how you're doing. I don't care about anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're here to give me something and I'm giving you something in return and then everyone go about their business. Like a business transaction, basically. That's the way I look at it. And I'm not going to ever catch feelings because from day one, you've made it clear and I put my emotions in a box to make sure I don't catch any feelings. Do you understand? So I don't open myself. I put my guards all the way up to make sure that there's no flipping way I'm going to be catching feelings for you because you've made it clear you don't want nothing serious. Now, I do tell the man that I talk to now, if that's the road you want to go down, just know that down the road, if you do start to catch feelings for me, it is going to complicate things. Because I've already gone so far without feeling anything for you. You telling me that you have feelings for me after that, to be honest, it's a conversation you're going to have to sit me down and have a serious conversation with me. And you're going to have to watch the way you approach me with it. Because I now have no feelings for you, my emotions are in a box. I can come out as very cold and heartless. Because you told me from the beginning you don't want nothing serious. And you're coming at me like you have feelings for me. And I've had guys do it before. Oh, I just want something casual. I just want sex. And next thing, thing you know, they're catching feelings. And then they start acting some type of way. And it pisses me off. Like, you said you don't want anything with feelings. Why are you now trying to bring emotions into it? We're just here to do what we want to do and go about our business. You got what I mean? Don't do that. Now, if you say you want to get to know me and see where things are going, then my emotions come out of the box and I lower my guard just a bit that if, I'm, if I want to catch feelings for you, I have the room to catch feelings for you. But when I, when I take my emotions out of the box, like I'm a very emotional person, it, you have to be ready for when I do catch feelings, because I will catch feelings. And when I do catch feelings, I expect us to be on the same page. Like you said, do you want to get to know me and see where it goes? Now, when, when I do that, and then a guy just starts moving some type of way, and they just wanted something casual, but they said they want something down the line and get to know each other <coughs> that pisses me off because then they start to move a certain way i'm thinking we're on the same page and we're really not now this guy i was talking about this nigerian guy that's basically what he fucking did to me so when we met each other obviously we liked each other um he was attracted to me he spoke to me and all of that my intentions was to get to know him and see where it goes that was his intentions too. We were both on the same page. But then something came up and I became pregnant. And even when I became pregnant and I had to tell him, I did say to him, if this is something that's going to put you off, tell me now. Because I know how this puts you in a rough position. Because I'm pregnant and it's not like it's for you. You understand? It's just something that happened. I didn't know it was going to happen and it happened. And I'm not getting rid of it. So... If this is something that you feel like you're not comfortable with, you know, let me know. And his response was, if I can remember correctly, his response was basically, 
Um, I do understand your situation, and I know it's not something that you put yourself in, it's just something that just happened, so I, I do get where you're coming from, so I'm not upset at you for it or anything like that. I'm cool. We are cool. I was like, alright, cool. That's fine. And we continued as normal. Now, there was nowhere in that conversation where he indicated that, you know what, the fact that he... You're pregnant for someone else while I'm seeing you. That means we can never have a future. Because I tell you one thing for sure, I'm not a delusional woman. If he would have said that from day one, that would have been it. We would have stopped talking. I would have never spoken to him again. But you see, and this is what a lot of guys don't get in their head. Stop calling a woman delusional. You can't be sending out mixed signals. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Can you got me? If you know a girl is catching feelings for you and you know you don't want nothing serious with that girl, let her know right there and then. Don't lead that girl on. And then when she start catching proper feelings for you, you start now calling her crazy or delusional. She's not delusional. If you didn't put out mixed signals, she wouldn't pick up those signals for what they are. I picked up the, the exact signals. I mean, on my birthday, someone that wants something casual, which means just sex and no commitment, nothing. Right? So on my birthday, he sent me a voice note singing me happy birthday. Casual, yeah? Casual. Then, I booked a week to go to um, London to spend time with him. We were going to go cinema. And then after, yeah, what we're going to do from there? We're going to go cinemas. Casual, yeah. Casual. Right? Casual. Now, all the times I've been with him, now... Guys I've been with where we just keeping it casual, yeah? So when I come London, the last time I came to London, he picked me up in his car, he went to his, and then, um, you know, he drove me back home. It was like around four something in the morning. Now, for a guy to take that, I said, most guys, if they're doing casual, they'll tell you to book your Uber home. Just book your Uber and you go home. I mean, what guy's gonna wanna wake up four in the morning to go drive you home? What are you gonna say? You what, you just trying to have manners? Come on. When something is casual, you behave like it's casual. Like me, if I'm having something casual with a guy, I've come across men that be like, oh, um, if you want me to come see you, you gotta pay for my cab. Who, me? I'm gonna pay for your cab to come give me what I want? No. Nigga, you gotta pay for your own cab. You wanna come see me? You pay for your transportation. I ain't paying for your transportation. And when we're done, you're gonna pay for your transportation again, and you're gonna go home. I ain't paying for you because I'm not your bank account, first of all. I'm not your bank account. That's how I treat a casual. Now, if it was someone that I'm getting to know and I have feelings for, I drive. I'll drive you home if you don't live far. I'll drive you home. I don't mind getting up. Please. Take you home. But if you casual, nigga, take a Uber. You take a cab or something, right? I don't really care how you get in here and how you get home. That's your problem for you to figure out. It's as simple as that. But these men out here calling things casual, that's not fucking casual because the way you've been acting, you act like someone that has feelings for me. And can you imagine, there was a time I was seeing this guy, he had a girlfriend, and he's talking about some in his voice note. Oh, what I do with my girl is what I do with my girl. Uh, love, you were with me, and you had a girlfriend when you were sleeping with me. Yeah? Like, let's be real. And I even said to him at some point, I said, you know what we're doing to this girl's actually messed up. Like, I felt bad, because I'm a woman. I wouldn't want anyone to do that shit to me. But I was doing it to her, and I felt bad. And he said to me, oh, my girlfriend knows I'm a free spirit. I do what I want to do. 
I'm just thinking my head, wow. In my head, I was just thinking, poor girl, I feel sorry for her. You're out there probably telling her you care about her and shit, and you're screwing someone else. But that's not my business. I mean, I came here to get what I came here to get, and she's fucking brown. You got know what I mean? I mean... She chose to be with him, so she, I guess she got to deal with it. I ain't got to deal with it. I get my shit and I go home. That's her problem, not mine. But, you know, <clears throat> just the way he was talking, like, it was just like, normally the old Selma, I would get offended and I will get into my feelings and all of that. But it's like, all the voice notes he sent me, I was just laughing. I was, I was literally laughing my head off because... Men out there that think women with children are damaged goods, you are so childish. You are very mistaken. You will be blessed to be with a woman who's got kids. Because trust me, with the way you guys act and your dickhead moves, women with children are more likely to have patience to deal with your bullshit. Because we're used to dealing with children. We have children. So when you act like a kid, we know how to deal with it because we have children. We will, We are more patient. We are more supported and we're more likely to be faithful to you because we got kids. We ain't got time to be running around with this guy, this guy, that guy, that guy. But for a man to try to devalue a woman just because she has kids. And I have to tell him about himself. And yes, I made this video and I hope he fucking sees it. I told him about himself. Alpha male, my ass. Is that how you're trying to justify your immature behavior? If I was just casual, why were you getting so angry that in my first video I didn't mention you or Nigeria? Come on, casual? Casual, right? So why do you care what I put on my videos? If we're just casual, you didn't ever see anything with me in the future. So whether or not I talk about you or not, what does it matter? What I think he wanted is to fuel his ego. He wanted to hear about himself. So he's like, yeah, I'm the man. Yeah, I'm all that. Yeah, I put it down. Get over yourself. But literally, get, get over yourself. yourself. Anyways, with everything he said. I had to make a decision and I thought to myself I don't need to take this bullshit see me yeah I don't care what anyone got to say you see when a lot of, a lot of guys are like oh you know queens gotta be treated this way and that listen I'm not a queen I'm a goddess I'm a goddess which means I don't take I don't take bullshit from no man. You see me? I take care of myself. I don't rely on anyone to take care of me. A lot of you men out here, you can't even take care of yourself properly. You probably You're still living with your parents. I live on my own. Three kids at 28. I buy my own car. I take care of my household. I feed my children. I pay my bills. Ain't no man pay my bills. I pay my bills. Even when I was married, I paid my bills, my husband's bills, my children. Any Anything that came with my kids, I paid for it. I paid for everything. I'm an independent woman. So I don't really need a man to survive. I can survive without it. The only thing a man can give me at this point is sex. There ain't nothing that a man can give me that I can't give myself. So the only thing a man is good for right now in my life is sex. And maybe down the line, maybe I'll get into something serious. But the way the men are behaving. Boy. It's so bad. It's so disrespectful. Ladies, if you ever hear a man say to you, I'm an alpha male, run. When a man says he's an alpha male, Red flag. I wish I had a red flag. Red flag. Run. Because that means he don't have respect for women. He's gonna do what he wants, say what he wants, and he's gonna justify it. 
by saying he's an alpha male. You see, alpha males, oh my god, they don't have respect. It's like living in the jungle. They like to mark their territory. They think they own things. Mm, no. You see me? In some ways, I'm an alpha female. I can be dominant. But I like for people to have their own opinion. I don't like to take control of everything. Like, if certain things... Yeah, I do like to be in control. But normal human nature, I prefer the guy to just be a man kind of thing. I mean, there's some things that I do like to take control of. But I, I like a man to just be a man. That's just me. And a lot of people don't get the difference. See, I don't want to be with a man who has the mindset or the mentality to think that women are to bow down to them. It don't work like that. Back in those days, women would do the cooking, the cleaning, the nurturing, giving birth to the children, taking care of them. And then the men are out there working and providing. See, the world we live in now, women have, invo have evolved. Now, we can do all of those things. We don't need you to do it anymore. We can do all of those things and go to work. And make a career for ourselves. Like, I'm 28. What? I started having kids at the age of 19. I'm 28. I've got three kids. I've got a seven-year-old. <coughs> I've got a six-year-old. And I've got a two-year-old. Yeah? On top of that, I was owning a nursery. A daycare nursery in where I live. And at the same time, putting myself through education. Yeah, <laughs> my nursery, I closed it down last month, so now I'm focusing on my education and taking care of my three kids, all on my own. I don't need a man to do all of that. Back in those days, they normally say women sit at home and take care of the children, while the men go out there and do it. We live in a different time, and for those men that still have that mentality, because when they're saying alpha men, I don't think a lot of you males out there know what alpha male is it's a dominant male an alpha male has the most fucked up mentality ever you should be ashamed this guy is boasting about being the alpha male. it's not a good thing to say that you are alpha male it's really not that means you're a dickhead you're literally defining yourself as a dickhead you don't listen to logic you don't listen to reason you just do what you want to do even if what you are doing is wrong, your ego is telling you it's right because you're delusional. This nigga calling me delusional. Nigga, you're fucking delusional. Because you the one who kept leading me on. All these years that I had fell asleep, all the times I've ever met you, the way you treat me, everything, you were leading me on. There was no indication there to tell me that you never wanted nothing with me in the future. None at all. But now you're sitting here acting like I'm just making things up in my head. Like, literally, by the time I finish this voice, like, this nigga's trying to make it seem like all the feelings I had, I was just making it up in my head. That's not fucking crazy. I'm not. Come on. I'm not fucking crazy. Women, you need to be so careful out there. These men are brutal. These men are just so brutal for no reason. And then you guys wonder why some females are just evil. I've come across guys that are like, oh, women can be evil too. Women do this, women do that. Of course we do. Because when we put our heart out there, look at what the fuck he did. For how many years I didn't tell this guy how I feel? I finally opened myself up to tell him how I feel. And that's what you got to say to You calling me damaged goods? Nigga, I ain't damaged goods at all. Not at all. Calling me damaged goods. Can you imagine why he was sleep with me while he had a girl? This nigga talking about some or his girlfriend don't dress up for him the way I do. Or his girlfriend don't do this the way I do. I'm thinking in my head, you're telling me all these things your girl don't do to you. Yeah. But you don't want me to be your girl. <laughs> I don't understand. So you rather be with a girl that's just not doing it for you than a girl that's, that literally can give you everything you want. And you don't want to be with me. Why? I got kids. I went and go get married. Come on. There's so many women out here. That have kids. That probably been married, got divorced. Shit happens. 
I didn't get divorced because I'm a horrible person. I chose to walk away from my marriage because I got a harder goal. And I'm not going to sit there and give my heart to someone that don't deserve it. So I decided I'm going to walk away from it. It wasn't a thing where my husband left me where he probably sitting there looking down at me like, oh, that's why your man left you. He didn't leave me. I left him because I got sick of it. My expectations in marriage weren't met. So I walked away. It's as simple as that. So I walked away with three kids. Okay. That don't make me any less of a woman. It makes me even stronger. And it raises my value. It doesn't lower my value at all. And for any man that thinks because I've got more than one kid, it lowers my value. It doesn't. It just increases my value even more. Those who think it lowers my value is because you're still a child and you need to grow up. Men take quite a long time to grow up. This man that's talking like this, he's what, in his mid-30s? And he's chatting like that. Oh, please. You're thinking a bit too much of yourself. You need to calm down and you need to grow up, mate. You need to grow up because a lot of women nowadays have children. There is no way you're going to escape that. Most of us have kids. And it doesn't mean because they have kids, they can't be a good woman to you. Or they can't give you what you're looking for. It's just, it's, it's just a wrong way of thinking. And it's so sad. I said to him, it's your loss, not mine. At the end of the day, it's your oh, loss, not mine. Because you know, when I'm with you, I have fun with you. I do things to you that probably, who knows, you probably ain't getting it out there. But if that's how you want to feel, that's how you feel. Everyone is entitled to their feelings. That's fine. For me, what, what pissed me off is a simple, oh, I just didn't see any future of us and not to hurt you but you know i just i don't i don't want to lead you on you could have just said that but no who want to be with you you got three kids you've been married now you're getting divorced what nigga who are you talking to when i was listening to that voice now i was just thinking who is this nigga talking to don't fucking talk to me like that you don't know shit about me you didn't take the time to get to know me because if you did, you won't be chatting to me like that. Don't fucking talk to me like that. I'm not one of these little chicken-headed girls you've been running behind. I'm not. Don't fucking talk to me like that. I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that. If you took the time to get to know me, you know that I am a prize. I am gold. Compared to the women that you chill with. Oh, please. You're in your mid thirties. Where are you going in your life? You're still trying to live Playboy life, but I just want to enjoy my life and be free and do what I want to do. You still gonna be doing that at 40, 50 years old? Grow up. Really grow up. So, in conclusion, all them feelings I had for him, all those feelings I expressed, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it. I'm literally gonna burn it because it don't need to exist anymore i'll never fucking talk to him. i told him already don't i don't I don't want nothing to do with you i don't even want anything casual with you because it could have been a thing where it's just casual but you can't do casual you want to bring feelings into it when you start treating me like i'm your girl you're bringing feelings into it i don't like that and there's no point in me even continuing anything with this guy because he's just going to keep leading me on and making me feel a certain type of way and then I'm thinking in the back of my mind, it's the same nigga that said to you, you're damaged, dude. What the fuck are you doing here? Like, I have to have some kind of pride for myself. Like, I can't start still seeing a nigga that look at me like damaged goods. That's, no. So, that's it for me. I ain't never talking to him again. He can go fuck himself. I don't even care. But, going forward, this is why... I don't let my guard down. It's, I'm so happy. I'm one person, when I catch feelings for a guy, it's like my brain shuts off. I don't think properly. And I really need to stop doing that. I'm getting my friends to actually train me on how to be heartless when it comes to dating. Because when you put your feelings out there, these men will step on it like it's nothing. 
They say they're looking for this and looking for a girl to do this and looking for that and looking for that. But trust me when I tell you, the minute you put your heart out there, they step in on it. They don't give two fucks about your feelings. And? Um, I don't know if you guys watch Steve Harvey. I do. So there are a few Steve Harvey videos I watch. If I can put it up on this video. I'll put it up. And then you can see. There was two um, videos that I watched about him. That he said. And what he was basically saying. Just in case I can't get the video up here. If I do, you see it after this clip. If I don't, then I'm just going to explain to you. So the first the first quote that um, basically um, he was talking about. He said, when a man approaches you, he approaches you with a plan. Basically, he has intention of why he's approaching you. And then I think it's like the talk show he's doing with Oprah and some other woman. And he also said, when a guy approaches you, a lot of you girls like to say, oh, um, he came up to me and he was talking and talking about this and talking about that. One thing Steve Harvey said that made me laugh, he said, when a guy approaches you, he don't care about your hopes. He don't care about your dreams. He don't care even how your day went. As far as he's concerned, the only reason why he's listening to you is because when he came to you, he came to you with an agenda and he's trying to fulfill that agenda. Once he's fulfilled his agenda, he's going. That's it. He's already gotten what he wants. There's no need to like continue to be having a conversation with you. And this is so funny because in some ways that is so true. And then the other thing he said was when you're with a guy yeah let's say you've been talking to a guy for six months if for six months he hasn't given you a title or a label you mean nothing to him so let's say for example he can give you different titles different labels it could be oh this is my friend or oh this is my girl or oh this is my woman or my lady if you don't have one of these titles within six months, you don't mean shit to him. And he also said, when a guy is introducing you, let's say to his friends or his family, if he just uses your name, you don't mean shit to him. He don't see anything with you and you are nothing. If a guy just goes up to you or a guy goes up to me and he's like, oh, um, you know, this is my friend Salma. Oh, then you got a title. But if he goes, hey guys, this is Salma. You don't mean shit. I don't mean shit. As long as I don't have a label, I don't have a title, I am nothing. So when I sit down and I think about that, when I saw that video, I was thinking, you know what? I actually, I'm going to buy his book because it was in his book they was reading it. I'm going to buy his book, I think it's um, Thinking Like a Man or something like that. It's very useful information because I was just like, raw, like, that's actually true. This guy that I'm talking about, all the years I've known him, I've never had a, a label. Not at all. Never had a label. So, kind of makes sense why he would say what he said today because there was nothing ever there it was just it was all in my head i know he did obviously i'm pretty sure at some point he did feel something for me definitely because i'm pretty sure now he probably still feels something about me but he don't want to admit it because of the stupidity that men normally have anyways even if they feel so for you they feel like they shouldn't talk about it or whatever it is so, the way he deals with it is by just disrespecting me, which is unacceptable. I'm pretty sure he feels something about me. But he won't go any further with that because he's already dismissed me as a person. As far as he's concerned, he don't see me with a woman with any type of value. And if he don't see that I have any value, I don't mean shit to him. Even if he did feel something, 
he's gonna sweep it under the rug because I'm not worth being with. But you know what? That don't make me feel bad. That makes me feel very happy because I've now, after how many years, know where I stand and I can move forward now. And I'm pretty sure there will be someone out there. Someone will be out there that will be okay with the fact that I have three kids and I have three, I'm going to be divorced. There are men out there that will love to have someone with my heart, with my dedication, with my brain, with my intelligence. Someone out there will want to be with me, will appreciate me better than he did. And with the way he behaves, and I always believe what goes around comes around. You want to treat a female like that, that's fine. But you're going to get yours. Don't worry, you find a female. By the time she finishes you, you're going to wish you never was behaving like that. But I leave that to you. What goes around comes around. You think that you better than me because you are in your 30s and you ain't got no kid. So that makes you better than me. That's fine. Okay, I had a kid at 19. I don't regret my decision at all. I don't regret getting married. I don't regret nothing because all of those gave me experience to deal with dickheads. Like, and it gave me the experience to know that when a man looks at you and says certain things, don't fucking believe it. Take it here and let it come out here because majority, 80% of the time, they just fooling you to get what they want. And one thing I don't need is a guy that's just going to come and pretend. Don't pretend to me. If you don't like me, you don't like me. If you're not attracted to me, you're not attracted to me. If you don't want nothing in the future with me, you don't want nothing in the future with me, just be real with me. Tell me just like it is. Don't be there on the bush with me. Don't, don't leave me on. I don't like shit like that. Like, don't do that. Like, do not do that. I don't like things like that. So, at the end of the day, it is what but it is. But... That's just what it is. And for me, I'm going to move on with my life. And I will talk to other people and just see where it goes from there. And maybe one day, one day, who knows, I'll find love. I'm a very smart girl. I'm very intelligent. I have high hopes and high ambitions. I'm in uni studying forensic science and policing. Because one day, I want to own my own forensic lab. Where I'll have my own team. I want to have different forensic labs in different countries. I want to expand travel. So whoever gonna be with me will be one lucky guy. Because I will definitely be a very high, intelligent, most respected person out here. By the time I'm done with my career and my studies. I have a lot of determination, De dedication, ambition. With all that I'm going through, I'm still going to do what I need to do. I may be 28 with three kids, but I'm living a good life. More than what some people are living at the moment. They ain't even got kids. So I'm doing well for myself. So ain't no man going to make me feel bad about it. I'm proud of myself because I've come a long way. For any man who can't appreciate me being a mom, you don't need to be around me. I don't even want you as a friend if you can't appreciate the fact that I'm a mother. It's one of my greatest accomplishments is becoming a parent. It's what made me fight for what I'm fighting for now because I'm a mom. Looking at my children's eyes and knowing that these little human beings are relying on me as their mom, I am blessed to be their mom. I feel honored to be there, mom. Ain't no man gonna make me feel bad about that. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. But I'm good. Man, these men are not gonna kill me. They ain't gonna give me high blood pressure. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. So, for all of you watching, all these ladies out there, you gotta be strong. Because these men are getting worse. It's like they got no home training. Whatever females or males are training them, they don't have no home training, no moral standards, nothing. They will disrespect you like you are trash on the floor. Don't ever let a man talk to you like that. If you see a man start talking to you like that, walk away from him. He ain't worth it. If a man can ever talk to a woman like that, he ain't worth nothing. He's just a waste of sperm. 
literally a waste of sperm walk away that's a major red flag they ever call themselves an alpha male walk away they're literally saying to you i will disrespect you and treat you however i want i don't care about your feelings and i don't care about you walk away you don't want a red flag in your life thank you guys for watching my youtube channel i hope you enjoy it i don't know what my next video is gonna be but you know who knows Bye. Loves you will uh, the man who truly has feelings for you will give you a title. That title is his way of letting everyone within the sound of his voice know he's proud of being with you and that he has plans for you. Absolutely makes a lot of sense. And though, every man has a plan. I love that whole yeah. chapter. Every man not. has every a plan. man has a plan, and that men do not come up to you just because they're interested in conversation <laughs> and how you feel and, <laughs> and, and and your 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 interest. You know. You know Women amaze me. Oh, he came up, we were just talking. No, men don't come up to you to just talk. We come up to you with a plan. Look, when we looking across the room at you, we don't care about your hopes and dreams. We don't, we don't care what your future holds for you. We saw something we wanted. Do you and care we're about my personality? No. <laughs> no. We don't care if you're the evil witch from Oz. Yeah. If you sleep with us, we cool with that. <laughs> Man, if a man introduces you as his friend or by your or name. Or just says your name. Or just yeah. says your name. He with comes no in title. With yeah. no title. Yeah. You have nothing. You have nothing. See, we're, we're very protective. We've, we mark our territory. If a man loves you, this yes. is the beginning of it. He's willing to profess it. He'll give you a title after yes. a while. You're going to be his lady, his woman, his fiance, his wife, his baby's mama, something. Uh -huh. Yes. But if he's introducing you after six months, this is, uh, this is Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> you should be standing there going, this is going nowhere. <laughs> this is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. Because you deserve a title after six months. You have something. to have one. It's okay. because we, we got to mark our territory okay. some kind of way. Okay, because you say the, a man who truly loves you will, uh, the man who truly has feelings for you will give you a title. That title is his way of letting everyone within the sound of his voice know he's proud of being with you and that he has plans for you. Absolutely. Makes a lot of sense. And every man has a plan. I love that.